about 15 different species of frogs here from all over the world and it, it really kind of takes you back. It's, you see frogs in your backyard, which are, which are impressive enough, but some of these species from around the world are really the, the biggest and the brightest. Uh, very, very unique, each one. So we have some very tiny poison dart frogs. So they could sit on about a half dollar pretty comfortably to one of the largest frogs in the world that gets four or five pounds, which is the African bullfrog or pixie frog. And they get big, large enough to even eat mice and small mammals. So frogs are an incredibly important indicator species. Since they're amphibians, they absorb both toxins in the air and the water through their skin. So they're very sensitive to any sort of pollution in, in either land or water. And if you have a healthy habitat, you're going to have a healthy frogs there. If you start losing your frogs, it's a, it's a very good indication that there's something not quite right with the ecosystem. Adult frogs will eat insects, so if, if you're not a big fan of mosquitoes biting you, it's nice to have frogs around. And the juveniles, the tadpoles, they'll actually clean out algae for the most part in ponds and lakes so you have a little bit of clearer water. The frogs are more or less uh, carnivores while the, the young, the tadpoles, are herbivores. There are some carnivorous tadpoles, but by and large they're going to be eating plant material and then once they metamorphose into a frog, they're going to be hunters, they're going to be hunting prey. It starts out as an egg in a bunch of jelly. So their amphibians don't have hard-shelled eggs, which is why they're so connected to water, so they have to be kept moist. And from that egg, tadpole develops, breaks out of its, its jelly-like shell. As they start to metamorphose from the tadpole to the frog, their tail begins to shrink and will actually be absorbing the fat that's stored in that tail. Um, while they're metamorphic, they'll start growing their hind limbs usually first um, and they'll also develop lungs. So they actually aren't born with lungs, but they, they develop them through that metamorphosis process. The frogs have different colors for a variety of reasons. The, the more earth tone, planar colored frogs is largely for camouflage. And then there are other frogs with bright colors for one of two reasons. One could be for attracting attention of mates. More likely though, it could be as a warning sign. Lots of species of frogs, none around here really, but as you get into more tropical regions, can secrete all sorts of poisons out of their skin. I'm very excited to be telling you that um, there was a frog room that has so many frogs, and there is 4,000 different kinds of species frogs. Isn't that cool? So, um, also a toad lives on land and it has shorter back legs so that I can climb on trees. And, um, frogs don't drink as like cats and dogs do. Um, they actually get water through their skin. Isn't that cool? It really is. Pardon me? Um, you can actually learn a lot of cool things so I think that you'll actually really enjoy this. Bye.